What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Whether or not you consider yourself a fan of Jeffree Star, you probably know that he's made quite the empire for himself and is next level famous. Along his journey, he's definitely stepped on a lot of toes though and doesn't hold back his opinions, that's for sure. Which oh, beauty God. influencer had the biggest drop in followers in one day last year? So sorry. Laura Lee? That is correct. <gasps> Jeffrey is 33 at the time of this video and has 14.6 million followers on Instagram. Not to mention his audience on YouTube is massive with 16.3 million loyal subscribers who love to watch his every move. He's an internet celebrity, beauty guru and makeup artist, model, entrepreneur and even a singer. If you were big into MySpace like I was back in the day, you would know by 2006, Jeffrey was the most followed person on that platform and you'd also likely remember some of his weird songs. Have any of you guys guys heard his song Ice Cream or am I old for knowing that one? Jeffrey is probably best known for his cosmetic line, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and his makeup reviews, looks, and videos. I'm just gonna put some on my chin. I know this might be a little weird to everyone, but hi. Maybe a UFO will just land right on my chin later. Basically anything to do with makeup, but in his reviews, he can definitely be ruthless too. They announced it in July. There was so much hype. Makeup ads came out, um, product reveals, packaging, and then it was like pre-order. And the whole world was kind of like, Hello! And aside from all of his success in this department, Jeffrey is also infamous for getting into some feuds. In most cases, these feuds had something to do with makeup and some of them were pretty intense. Let me just remind you of one thing. I was her friend for 10 years, you've never met her. So do I know the real tea? Of course I do. I'll be getting into them in a little while because today we're gonna tell you all about Jeffree Star's celebrity scraps here for you on Famous Entertainment. What's going on guys, I'm Kara and today we're doing something a little different. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post videos so you never miss out. If you guys like this idea and wanna see some other lists, let me know which in the comments down below. We also have some celebrity exes lists like the Ace Family on this channel, which we'll link after. Now let's get into this video. If you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, it's almost Halloween at the time of this recording. And if you wanna pick up some costumes for yourself or perhaps some other fun stuff for you and your significant other, be sure to check out our sponsor, Adam and Eve. Starting with another famous beauty YouTuber, Nikki Tutorials. Hey guys, I'm here today to show you the power of makeup. Nikki is a Dutch makeup artist and beauty vlogger who gained popularity in 2015 on YouTube, most notably for her video showing the power of makeup. She was also BFFs with Jeffrey at one point. We need to stop somewhere later because guess what? what? I don't have any setting spray. Did you bring yours? Oh shit, it's still in Amsterdam. <laughs> Apparently back in 2017, the two ended their friendship over some unfair collaboration contract Nikki had with makeup brand Too Faced. It was said they cut ties on a press trip to Necker Island with Benefit Cosmetics. This is when Nikki and Jeffrey unfollowed each other on Insta and didn't even take photos together on this whole trip. Some even say they had a full out screaming match on the boat. Fast forward to 2018 and there was some more beef following the release of a controversial product release from Tarte Cosmetics. The brand's new foundation line only offered three shades for women of color out of 14, which was obviously pretty rude. Nikki did a review on the line and fans got mad when she didn't address this fact at all. The comments led to Nikki taking the video down and apologizing on Twitter. Your comments on my new video sh showed me how important and how strong my voice can be with my platform in this industry. So I want to thank you for that, for, for teaching me that and showcasing me that. But as usual, Jeffrey had something to say. I think that it's very important that when you do have a huge platform like Nikki with over 8 million subscribers, you do have a choice to really talk about something and bring it full forward because yes, girl, they may have had your shade, but half your audience didn't have their shade. And also added, my problem with that, you've been on YouTube for 8 years. You know you have a voice, girl. Also, you live your life online. You saw the shade range. You didn't really acknowledge it. I mean, he definitely has a point 
point. These days there are rumors that Jeffrey and Nikki are cool again, but I'm not totally sure. Next up, Huda Katan, another beauty YouTuber, makeup artist, and founder of the cosmetic line Huda Beauty. This time, Jeffrey accused Huda of stealing the concept of her Easy Bake setting powder from the indie brand Beauty Bakery in his Brands That Hate Me video. Now, I'm all for people being inspired by other brands, but when you literally steal the exact concept and photo shoot from an indie brand, how do you sleep at night? That's the real tea. Huda Beauty basically ripped off the other brand's product, and if that isn't bad enough, Beauty Bakery's founder is a single mother who's a breast cancer survivor. I gotta say, I side with Jeffrey on this. He even tweeted, Tell Huda Beauty to F off and use products from someone with a soul. And if you care, Jeffrey also posted their convo in the DMs. Safe to say these two won't be working together anytime in the near future. Next up, we have Kat Von D. Probably the most well-known Jeffrey feud is the one he had with Kat Von D. These two were actually friends for a decade and Kat even helped him start his makeup career. Kat was best known for being a reality TV star and tattoo artist on the show LA Inc. And she also has her own makeup line at Sephora, which came out in 2008. The beef between these besties apparently started in 2016 when Kat exposed Jeffrey for not paying graphic designer BJ Betts for the work he did for him. Kat then announced on Insta she won't be associated with Jeffrey anymore and released a video exposing him. Just because I call you out on social media about being a bully doesn't mean that you can post a tweet that says, hey, you know, you, Kat Von D has never supported me in my, my makeup line when honestly, Jeffrey, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be where you are now. I mean, as far as your makeup line goes. It's a long story, but if you've seen Kat's video, you would know she had plenty of reasons why she couldn't be friends with Jeffrey anymore, including the way he allegedly copies ideas, his drug use, racism, and his bullying towards others. Jeffrey stated about the feud, even though we were friends for 10 years, you never know you're going to literally wake up one morning and have your best friend backstab you in front of the entire world. He also posted a video explaining his side of the story and showing text convos that Kat apparently apparently forgot to include. So I am going to show our text conversation on camera because I just think it's fair and I really think that that's a huge chunk of the story that is missing. After I asked her to film, she goes silent. I do not hear or speak to her until a few days ago. I could go on and on explaining the feud between Jeffrey and Kat, but I think you get the idea. Whose side were you guys on in this one? Let me know in the comments. This next Jeffrey drama was with a whole group of beauty influencers. Laura Lee, Manny MUA, Nikita Dragon, and Gabriel Zamora. I'm not entirely clear on how this one started in the first place, but I know Jeffrey was super close with Laura and Manny once upon a time. Jeffrey sat down with Shane Dawson in his documentary and explained, With my ex-friends, people still don't really know what went on. Why do I feel like they need to know? Because there's so many versions of things that never happened out there. Apparently, these ex-friends he refers to include Laura and Manny. He also threw shade at the beauty community in his tweets. Even when a fan asked Jeffrey if tweets referred to Laura, he said, You know nothing about her personally. Her soul is pure evil. Ouch. And then Gabriel Zamora posted a photo of him, Manny, Laura, and Nikita Dragon posing with their middle fingers up. That was captioned, which is bitter because without him, we're doing better. A clear jab at Jeffrey. Gabriel even accused Jeffrey of being a racist because of the controversy he faced in that department. Long story short, I don't think there was a winner in this feud considering fans exposed racist tweets from both Gabriel and Laura. It all just sounds like a huge mess to me. I want to talk to you guys in this video. It's been so Moving on to Jeffrey's beef with Kylie Jenner. This wasn't the only lady in the Kardashian-Jenner clan he had a feud with, and I'll tell you who the other one is right after this, but I bet you already know. For $360, I am very curious why this is, um, I call it vegan leather. It's like a plastic faux leather. It's obviously not real. And this does feel very cheap. So I'm gonna start the review off by saying this feels like it's from the Dollar Tree. Just being...
in 100%. Jeffrey is known for throwing shade at Kylie's brand, Kylie Cosmetics, pretty often, whether in his product review vids or on Twitter. Back in 2016, when Kylie released her lip glosses, there were angry customers over what looked like a faulty applicator. And of course, Jeffrey had something to say. Looking at past tweets, you can see how Jeffrey went off. But Kylie didn't let all of this get to her, and she stood by the fact that she has the same passion for makeup as him. Later on, Jeffrey also came at her, accusing her of copying his packaging at one point. He said, I gotta know one thing, with all that effing money she's made, why did Kylie Cosmetics use the same packaging as my liquid lipsticks that have been out since 2014? Invest and make something different maybe. The second Kardashian-Jenner sister that seemed to be on Jeffrey's hit list was none other than Kim K, but I don't think he came for her half as bad as he did for Kylie. This happened a couple of years back when Kim posted swatches for her KKW powder contouring kit. Of course, Jeffrey went on Twitter to say, Um, Kim, what is going on with those new swatches looks like chalk girl them powders like sounded dry on her snap like they just like looked a little chalky so of course my tweet went a little crazy everywhere and everyone started talking about it even more and then it turned into a circus Kim ended up posting on snapchat to defend him against her fans coming after him because of his remarks I'm learning how like from the best like from Mario like how to swatch properly so guys like and I see you being so petty, bringing up things in his past, so let him live. Like, I welcome honest, you know, comments about my products, and because of it, I'm swatching better now. Anyways, the internet got a bit out of control over this drama, but I personally don't think it was a big deal. Jeffrey still ended up doing his honest and fair review of Kim's KKW contour and highlight kit. Last up on our list is Jeffrey's feud with James Charles. Being another super famous beauty YouTuber, James seems to find himself in hot water quite a bit. I'm sure you're all familiar with the huge James vs. Tati Westbrook scandal that happened earlier this year, and and at the time, Jeffrey added to the drama and came at James. Even though the two appeared to be friends and they filmed a bunch of videos together, Jeffrey backed up Tati's claims that James inappropriately targeted and harassed straight men. He tweeted, There is a reason that Nathan banned James Charles from ever coming over to our home again. There's a reason why I haven't seen him since Glam Life Guru's birthday in February. He is a danger to society. Everything Tati said is 100% true. Then Jeffrey's merchandise production company dropped James James's label Sisters Apparel as a client. After all of this, Jeffrey ended up apologizing about how he was towards James and said his accusations were based on rumors. Well then. So Jeffrey's list of famous feuds is definitely longer. We know he's also gotten into it with founders of big makeup brands such as Too Faced and Lime Crime. But you get the idea. And I definitely don't think this will be the last of Jeffrey's feuds, especially as long as he keeps reviewing makeup. After looking at that long list of who Jeffrey's come at in the past, what do you guys think? Whose side are you on? I think Jeffrey is one of a kind and just doesn't hold back his thoughts. Maybe sometimes he should have a little more chill, but I think his fans appreciate his honest and sometimes harsh makeup reviews. I guess we'll just have to see what's next for Jeffrey or what drama. If you guys like these videos, let me know what other lists you'd want to see. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more. And thanks to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this. It helps us bring you guys more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!